Hi everyone, it's Natasha and I want to share with you a card I made on Ustream earlier today. And it consists of three different color paper, black card base, which is American card, uh, American Crafts card stock, eight and a half by eleven, cut in half and then folded in half for the standard A2 size card. A layer of this brilliant pink, then there's a layer of white which isn't as visible but it does give some dimension when seen from the side and a layer of white that was run through the cherry blossom cuddle bug embossing folder and colored up with the Lindy Stame Gang Starburst Stain in Hotty Patati Pink which matched the paper very nicely as well as these cute little pink what looks like cherry blossoms and these are actually sequins these itty bitty little cupped sequences and sequins which come from this Petaloo Dazzlers pack and this is the pink poodle which I got um, in a recent haul which I have a video of and then these adorable little sweetheart blossoms are from Wild Orchid Crafts, and it's from the 100 Mixed Color Sweetheart Pack, PM00084, and it's these really pretty bright pink and pale pink, and I just love the monochromatic look. And I didn't did not put a sentiment on the outside, but I could totally put in a white uh, piece of paper and put a sentiment in on the inside so I'm going to put this in my box of card stash and the easiest way to adhere and let me just show you how much dimension this has do you see that? from the side it almost looks like a field of poppies but what I did is I got these Dollar Tree plastic shot glasses and I have a whole stash of them. I think 25, it comes 25 to a pack. And then I poured myself some of these sequins and pulled out the cupped pink ones. Then using Scotch Quick Dry adhesive, I dabbed three dots at a time because it does set up really quickly on top of the card then grabbed my trusty wax stick and picked up each of the sequins. Let me just show you that quickly. So I have the sequins out faced the right the correct way. So I have this up right here. Oh, I got one static clinging to me. So the wax stick doesn't have anything on the tip it's just a roll of wax and then um, let's say I had a dab of glue there you just push down and pick it up it's the easiest way to transfer small pieces this works on sequins and then just dab it on um, sequins rhinestones anything that's tiny that you wouldn't be able to pick up with your fingers and the small pieces small things like that would typically get stuck under my nail so this is definitely the easiest way to do that. And then once those were set, I needed I wanted a little contrast between the all pink. So I used the black diamond stickles for the little centers. So that tie, tied in the black and gave it a pop and really made it stand out. And then I used hot glue to adhere these sweetheart blooms randomly. So there's a quick card with just a few um, products and really came together quickly. Probably have a lifetime supply of these. But um, it's just another way to look at sequins because using them one at a time it created this I think elegant monochromatic look and it's definitely very springy. So I'm going to keep this on hand and then when I decide what I would like to use it for, I'll add maybe a piece of white um, 
cardstock with a sentiment stamped in pink. There you go. If you have any questions about any of the products I used, please feel free to uh, leave me a question. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.